Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna take out the kill key. I'm gonna press the activation button. This video is part of a series of videos where I attempt to build my very first lightsaber. I'm documenting the entire process step by step, literally dozens of hours worth of video, now available on my Patreon page. So go check that out. I'll leave a link on the video and in the description. It's called the Lightsaber Academy tier. I even started making my own graphics, these little cartoons to help <laughs> explain what I'm doing. Anyways, okay, back to the- Okay, this may or may not probably not be the last day of this lightsaber build. I'm excited for it today because I'm gonna find out whether or not anything that I did was any good. And there's a chance, a very, very small chance that this might actually work. And that excites me. So I did a couple things off camera that I can't show you now because I thought my camera was recording, and of course it wasn't. I hot glued the speaker portion of the chassis to the rest of the chassis. I also soldered the speaker wires to the soundboard. Those two little globs of solder, those are the two speaker wires. And the last thing I did was drop a dab of hot glue on the bottom just to secure it a little bit to the rest of the chassis. Today, we're just gonna be connecting everything to the board. I don't understand. The ignition switch goes right here. That one pad is for the ignition switch, which is connected with these two wires, but there's two wires. Both of these wires have to converge there, just coming from the same switch. Why did we need two wires? I don't understand electricity. So frustrating. So activation goes there, auxiliary goes here on that one pad. The auxiliary also has two, two cables. All right, I'm gonna do power. I think I'm just gonna solder to power. Battery positive needs to go to that right there. The battery negative needs to go to the one right underneath it. So let's do the one underneath it first, just so I have a little more space to work. Oh my fucking God. I'm gonna try something else here. I cut off a little piece of wire because that will never reach there. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna join the- Do the same thing with the red wire now. All right, so that was a huge pain in the ass. I think the problem was these through holes in the soundboard are like super narrow and the gauge of the wire, 22 gauge wire, won't fit in those through holes. And that's what I was trying to do to create like the best possible connection. So these solder joints are just sitting on top of those through hole pads. I mean, they feel strong. This red one doesn't look very good at all, but it, it feels like it's really on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is the exact same thing, but with the LED cables. So those five connections right there, four whites and the one green, those are all going to the LED strip. Okay, so <laughs> what a mess. I'm gonna start connecting some of these together. Oh shit. That was just magnetized to my speaker. There's no way that speaker's gonna work. Let's 
See what I did there? That's probably fine. Okay, now I'm gonna try to splice together some of these wires here. So far I've hooked up the speaker, the battery, the recharge port, and the hilt side PCB adapter. That leaves the auxiliary switch, the blaster accent LED, tangible font selection switch, and activation switch left to do. Oh my god. We've got power, I think. Something's working. I'm so excited I forgot to turn on my lights. So, where were we? I wired a bunch of stuff to the board and then routed a lot of those wires over here, which should probably go in here. How am I gonna do this in a way that doesn't take up all the space in the world? Okay, now we just gotta join these two together. Oh, life hack. Put that to the end. Twist. Oh, that's so much easier. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, we just have green. Okay. That doesn't look so bad. Right? Okay. So there's going to be an activation switch here, and there's going to be an auxiliary switch right there. I'm going to assume that that was successful. It's very hard to see. Very difficult to solder in there because there's this red wire in the way. And I was burning it alive because there's no way to get my soldering iron in there without some collateral damage. It's the positive for the auxiliary switch. Before you push the chassis into the hilt, Place the rectangular nut onto the slot above the activation switch. The slot above the activation switch? Yikes. What am I supposed to do with that? That's going to be a problem. I don't understand what you're scratching up against. All right, so I somehow managed to squeeze in my chassis into the hilt and beat all the loose wires out of this little like hatch door type of thing. It's going to do some pigtails here because I don't want to make anything permanent right now because I will have to take this apart to do some more soldering on the board. I just want some hope, man. Some hope, you know, just a small sign that I'm doing things right. Okay, moment of truth. I'm going to take out the kill key. Press the activation button. Oh, wait. Oh, Doesn't too fit. wide. <laughs> oh, my God. 
can't even <laughs> test it now. <sighs> Son of a bee. Always something. Okay. Well, wouldn't she still be able to hear the sounds? I don't know. Well, I guess you are making your lightsaber blade. <laughs> <laughs>